tell you what an honour it has been to meet our next winner, who didn't get off to the greatest of starts academically. He failed his 11 plus and he left school at 15 and I doubt his head teacher ever predicted that he would later be awarded a Nobel Prize. This is the story of Sir Peter Mansfield. Although one in three of us will develop cancer at some point in our lives, survival rates are improving and part of that is down to an extraordinary scientific breakthrough. To doctors, it's the magnetic resonance imaging scanner. To you and me, it's quite simply a lifesaver. It enables better diagnosis, it enables earlier diagnosis. There's no question that MRI imaging saves lives. And the man behind this amazing machine, Sir Peter Mansfield. The development of MRI has been Sir Peter's life. He's totally dedicated to it. He's a remarkably visionary individual. His work goes back to the 1970s, when the goal was to scan the body's soft tissues without the use of potentially harmful X-rays. The technique relies on the images obtained when the body is subjected to a strong magnetic field. In the early days, Sir Peter even tested it out himself. One can never be 100% sure there won't be any adverse effects. The worst thing that could happen would be um, a cardiac arrest. And that was a very tense occasion as we waited with bated breath to see what would happen to him. Uh, we got an MRI image and, and he survived the experience. Sir Peter's route to success was equally unconventional. He left school at 15 with no qualifications to become a printer, but put himself through night school to get to university. A fascination with the V-1 rockets he'd seen in the Blitz led to a job with the government researching missiles. From there, he never looked back. In 2003, he was awarded a Nobel Prize for an invention that has benefited millions of people across the world. Before we meet Sir Peter, please welcome Prime Minister Gordon Brown and one of our and his judges too, Sarah Brown. You know, Pride of Britain has become so inspirational that it's a national institution of Britain. And tonight we're celebrating people of courage and of brilliance and of excellence, of dynamism and of compassion. And tonight I'm very pleased to be able to give the Lifetime Achievement Award. You know, there's not much better than winning a Nobel Prize. But there is something better, and that's the Pride of Britain Award. <laughs> Please welcome the pride of Britain, Sir Peter Mansfield. Ladies and gentlemen, I am greatly honoured uh, to be standing here before you today. It's one thing having a good idea, uh, but to translate that into something which is operational and useful uh, takes not only money, uh, but you need somewhere to do the work, you need the cooperation of colleagues, you need the cooperation of the university, uh, there are, in fact, a whole string of people who made extremely important contributions. Because I come from the University of Nottingham, I'm able to thank the staff uh, that worked with me, particularly the Vice-Chancellor, uh, who really enabled me to have space to do this research. Thank you for your attention. 